In this video, I'm going to show you an end-to-end -end example of using GR satellites and a recording of some radio data to decode telemetry from a satellite. With a lot of GNU radio stuff, I tend to find that the installation instructions or the instructions for what to do just after you've installed tend to be a little bit lacking, especially in terms of actual examples that walk you through what you can actually start doing. So in this video, I hope to show you that with a base installation of GNU radio and GR satellites, you can do something at least kind of interesting and take a look at a recording of some telemetry from a satellite. If you're looking to install GR satellites and you don't already have it working, I recommend going to first the repo for GR satellites and then taking a look at the wiki. There are a lot of details in the wiki for common problems that people have encountered and things like that. Um, so the wiki has a lot more information than just the readme. Uh, so make sure to go there. When I was installing GR satellites and getting it running for the first time, I had a couple problems of my own. And to solve them, I ended up taking a look at the issues filed for GR satellites. Um, that's a, another good to, thing to do if you've run into problems during your installation process. So in this video, we're going to be using GR satellites, and we're going to be using two other repos as well. Uh, the first one is GR frontends, which is linked at the bottom of the wiki. And we're going to be using a recording of some uh, satellite data from the satellite recordings repo. The first thing we need to do now that GR satellites have been installed um, is fire up GNU Radio Companion. Here we are. So since I did a previous version of this video, um, I've, I've got this flow graph open, but if you don't, head over to open and go to your GR Frontends repo clone that you've got here and open up the wave 48 kilohertz GRC flow graph. What the GR Frontends repo has inside it are a set of flow graphs that take some sort of input. So in my case, it's a wave file but it can also be an RTL SDR or other types of radio hardware. And they take the stream from that input and send it out over UDP. The UDP stream is used by the satellite decoder blocks or flow graphs that we'll look at in a second uh, to actually pick up the data and then from there it decodes it. So we'll, we'll open up our 48 kilohertz one here. And I like to make a couple modifications to this to make it a bit easier to use. The first one is I delete the parameter uh, or the, the input file parameter here. The reason for that is the wave file source has a file browser in it. And I find that a lot easier to use when I'm just trying to uh, open up a recording. So it's a good time to navigate over to the recording we're not going to take a look at here. So I have that cloned under my RF directory satellite recordings and we're going to look at AIS TechSat 3. So open that up and click OK. And this flow graph will only send out that recording once over UDP. Um, I like to set it to repeat and click OK. That's not required though. The last thing we need to do is set the IP address that we're going to be sending out on. So this needs to match on both the transmit end, which is this flow graph, and the receive end, which we'll see in a second. So if it's not set already, set your value to localhost. And I've found you need to set the type to string or else you're going to get an error. So hit OK. Now we can open up the decoder and run these two things and we'll start to see some telemetry. So head over to open. Go to your GR Satellites clone under Apps, and we're going to open up AIS TechSat 3. The Apps directory of GR Satellites has the decoders for a whole bunch of satellites that have been uh, developed or contributed back to this project. And this flow graph is pretty much ready to go now. Uh, we'll just ensure that 
The um, IP address is set to localhost, so it matches what we're sending out uh, from the flow graph that we just looked at. Just click OK, so that was fine by default. And now we can actually run this flow graph here. So we're going to execute. We get a little bit of debug data. And once we start the transmit side, we will start seeing some data come out. So we're, it's just sending out the same data over and over again, but the decoder is capable of decoding it, obviously. And uh, yeah, we have our length and whatever this data happens to mean. So it's some, some sort of telemetry from the satellite.